Recent research suggests Earth and the Milky Way may lie near the center of a massive cosmic void. This under-dense region could explain the Hubble tension, the mismatch between the universe's expansion rate, measured from early light, and local galaxies. The void's gravitational effects may make nearby galaxies appear to move faster, offering a potential solution supported by cosmic sound wave data. The Hubble constant is central to cosmology, as it determines how fast the universe is expanding. Measurements of the Hubble constant have been taken from both the early universe using the Cosmic Microwave Background CMB, and from local observations using nearby galaxies. However, these two methods have led to conflicting results. The CMB suggests a slower rate of expansion, while nearby galaxies show a faster expansion rate. This discrepancy, known as the Hubble tension, has been a source of ongoing debate in cosmology. The standard model of cosmology, known as Lambda CDM, assumes a uniform distribution of matter across the universe. However, this model doesn't fully explain the differences in the measured expansion rates between the early universe and the local universe. The Hubble tension, in part, highlights the need for a more nuanced understanding of cosmic structure and expansion. One promising explanation for the tension is the local void hypothesis. The idea proposes that Earth and the Milky Way are located near the center of a vast cosmic void, a region where the density of matter is significantly lower than in the surrounding areas. Cosmic voids are not empty, but are sparsely populated with gas and galaxies. These voids make up a significant portion of the universe, but their effects on cosmic expansion have not been fully explored until recently. Dr. Indranil Banik and his team propose that Earth lies in a giant cosmic void, where galaxies appear to move away faster due to surrounding dense regions pulling matter outward. This creates an illusion of a higher local expansion rate, offering a possible solution to the Hubble tension and challenging the idea that the universe expands uniformly. To support this hypothesis, Dr. Bannock and his team turned to Baryon Acoustic Oscillations, BAOs. BAOs are the sound waves from the early universe that were imprinted in the distribution of galaxies. These sound waves were frozen in place as the universe cooled and expanded, leaving behind a cosmic ruler that can be used to measure the expansion of the universe. By measuring the distance between galaxies and comparing this to their redshift, the stretching of light as it moves through space, we can track the universe's expansion. However, the presence of a large cosmic void would slightly distort the BAO measurements. The gravitational effects from the void would cause galaxies within it to move at higher velocities which would result in an increased redshift and slightly alter the observed BAO distances. This is exactly what Dr. Bannock's team found in their analysis. By examining BAO data collected over the past two decades, the researchers found that models incorporating a local void fit the data much better than those assuming a homogeneous universe. Specifically, the local void model reduced the statistical tension between the early universe and local measurements from 3.0 sigma to 1.0 sigma. This improvement suggests that the local void hypothesis offers a more accurate explanation of the observed discrepancies. Evidence for the local void theory comes from observations showing fewer galaxies in our region compared to surrounding areas, supporting the idea that we're inside a vast cosmic void. While still under investigation, this theory offers a strong explanation for the Hubble tension. Future tests will focus on refining BAO measurements and studying how voids affect gravitational waves and galaxy distributions. If the local void hypothesis is correct, it would have significant implications for our understanding of the universe. First, it challenges the ELDA-CDM model, 
which assumes that the universe is homogeneous on large scales. While this model has been highly successful in explaining many aspects of cosmology, it may not fully account for the effects of large-scale inhomogeneities, such as cosmic voids, on the universe's expansion. If voids can cause apparent discrepancies in the expansion rate, it means we need to reconsider how we measure and interpret the universe's expansion. Instead of assuming a uniform expansion across all regions, cosmologists may need to account for variations in density and gravitational effects when measuring the universe's growth. This could lead to new insights into the formation and evolution of galaxies, as well as a better understanding of large-scale cosmic structures. Another important implication of this theory is its potential to clarify the true age of the universe. The discrepancy between early and local universe measurements has been a major source of uncertainty in estimating the universe's age, currently thought to be around 13.8 billion years. Resolving the Hubble tension could lead to a more accurate determination of the universe's age and help refine models of its expansion history. In addition, the discovery of a large local void could lead to more accurate predictions about the future of the universe. Understanding how voids affect cosmic expansion could provide clues about the fate of the universe, whether it continues expanding indefinitely or eventually contracts. It could also shed light on the role of dark energy and dark matter in shaping cosmic evolution. The theory that Earth lies in a vast cosmic void offers a promising explanation for the Hubble tension, potentially resolving the discrepancy in expansion rates. If confirmed, it could reshape our understanding of the universe's structure, age, and evolution, making it a key focus in ongoing cosmological research.